questions? Well, what we're going to discuss in this video is aging. I know we don't like to discuss aging, especially women. Um, well, what let's do is let's go back to our very youngest. <laughs> when I first became conscious of aging was probably when I started to lose my first tooth. And I was depressed because old age had come for me. And I was no longer going to have my baby teeth. So I refused to let it fall out. And one day I tripped and fell and the tooth fell out. So what was I going to do? I couldn't stop the wheels of time. I couldn't um, and couldn't stop it. So just had to deal with it. So yeah, that was my first rem memory of um, growing, growing pains. And you know, then most of the time you're sort of eager to grow up. Um, I didn't have too much trouble with my adolescence fairly easy but um, I so in a sense I always sort of feel like I'm stuck at like 11 or 12 <laughs> like Peter Pan which there's a female counterpart for Peter Pan that would be me some kind of youthful sprite some fairy that um, that doesn't grow old but anyway my personality has not outgrown the bubbly stage and um, but now, like I said, you know, when I hit 20, I was like, whoa, this is not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be a teenager, like 15. I've hit 20. And then 30, I'm like, yee, 30, my youth is over. Oh, no more youth. But it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. And once I got used to 30, I embraced it and realized I still looked 20 and I could still do everything I wanted to do. Now, I got 40. Staring down 40 this year. And that's not too exciting, but once again, I don't look so bad and I still act young. So I'm like, am I going to wake up one day and be like an ancient woman, just like Mrs. Skeffington, Mr. Skeffington, Mrs. Betty Davis on Mr. Skeffington? And I don't want that. But at the same time, I want to keep my youthfulness about me as long as I can, like most women do. So bottom line is my personality is a zany funny goofy person so I'm a zany funny goofy youtuber in my youth and I'm gonna be a zany funny goofy youtuber in my middle age and a zany funny goofy youtuber in my old age probably doing funny things that little old grannies don't usually do <laughs> but um, but yeah that's my personality and the thing is with aging you know you sort of accept it it's sometimes hard to accept it takes time to think of it through but um like I said, these days everybody's younger and younger all the time <laughs> you know the 30 is the new 20 and 40 is a new 30 so i hope so sounds nice anyway so but yes as you grow older you begin to worry about your health more in the last five years i've been dealing with tons of root canals mm. And that's no fun. I mean, I haven't done too bad in the wrinkle department so far. I mean, maybe a little thinner on top. You know, my mom complains about my hairline. <laughs> but it's not that bad. And so, so far, aging hasn't done me too worse for the wear, except for, like I said, my teeth. Struggling with them a bit. And there's also, we need to take into consideration the psychological aspect of aging. Because you feel, when you get older, you start to feel useless. But the terrible thing is, you feel useless at every age. I mean, I felt, as a kid, I felt useless, trapped, couldn't do anything, couldn't achieve anything. I'm just a stupid kid, you've got 10 years more in school to go, it's just awful. You know, you just feel trapped. And then when you're, after you graduate, you're in your 20s, you're like, I'm so dumb, I don't know anything, I'm just out of college, nobody takes me seriously, I still look like I'm 15, ah. And then by the time you're in your 30s, you're like, okay, maybe people are starting to take me seriously now. Uh, but you're like, oh, but I'm getting old, or I'm past 30, oh, everyone's put out to pasture by then. And, and like I said, in your 30s, you're, you're depressed. So I'm like, what is the optimum age? What's the age, the perfect age everyone's completely happy at? It doesn't seem like there is one. Because there's so, when you're in your teens and 20s, there's, there's so much you can't do. You are still perceived so like a kid. You're not respected. You don't have no experience. You're struggling. I don't think your 20s are the best, the best years. I mean, obviously, if you 
are successful and rich and famous, maybe. I mean, I would think that probably your best years are probably your 30s and up. Because now, 20s, you're just too immature. But 30s, you're kind of getting a foothold in life. So, so yes, it seems like there's never an age when you don't feel inferior. And like I said, it's going into 40, I feel inferior. I'm like, you're old, you're out of the game, oh, oh we're tired old folks home. I'm like, seriously, there is no perfect age. So you just have to make the best of life and do the best you can. So, as I said, the psychology of aging is something that we all have to, to face and our mortality. But, um, let's face it with a smile and face it with courage and, um, bravery. And don't let it get us down. So we all, we're all feeling awkward and weird, <laughs> I think, at every age. So, it, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone at all. And as I said, Fame may still be around the corner. I'm still patterning myself after Susan Boyle, 47, so I have time. I have time. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped to cheer you up and feel a little bit better about aging. All right, you take care.